And so I want to see So we're not talking about the alcoholic Hennessy. No. Okay. No. Maybe even the color green. If you thought Honda's had bad breaks, just wait till you try that. Stop giving away my secrets. That looks Here. like Rutledge Wood. We found Rutledge Hi, Rutledge. Wood. It sucks more than your ex. We are live. And now we're live. Local. Uh, somewhat local, I guess, to most of you. We are, this is a Projangers and Wallhangers Media Network presentation of Lug Nuts. We are Lug Nuts. I am Matthew Bucarell, the Matt Man, and the host of the show, Big Brother Stephen Bucarell, and What's our up? mascot, Hero of Time, Link Diablo. So here you can find us on pjnwh.com with all of our latest podcasts, like tomorrow's Triforce podcast. Last one was Mace Windu Car Salesman, Power Ballad Needed. And last week's po- uh, Lug Nuts podcast, Special Colors Infotainment. You can find all the great content here, as well as uh, all of us and about us. Yours is very brief. And contact, contact us. us. Let us know if you have a car that you want us to dissect and take a look at. Do you have any kind of weird car problems? Do you have a weird car situation? Anything car related? Pop on your message right here. Find us on all the social medias. And... What do we have going on? This week, we have Chevy Kills. We go over the autopsy. Huh? Ford gets Hennessy'd. Jeep gets Nelly bellied R- Renault has a concept. And we end up with Alpha News. Mm, mm. So let's get into it. We'll let's get on. right into it. Chevy has officially killed the Impala again. Okay. They've done this, they've, they've done this before. I mean, it was always a real regular-looking sedan, a full-size yep, sedan. Yep. Um, you got the LED We'll have uh, more pictures in the next link. Now the only uh, fourth full-size family sedan will be the Malibu. Oh, God. So that's what we have. The Chevy Impala, which is being killed, Ooh. that is a Bel Air. That is where the Chevy Impala came from. Some good genes. Yes. Some, some good jeans you got on you there. Uh, oh, it, nice. They wanted to take a Bel Air with more flair. Could you imagine parking that anywhere now? In mm, it would be the suburbs. somewhat difficult. In the country, it would be easy, but relatively. But In, the in country, a parking lot? Yes, oh, that would be imagine fine. Imagine taking that in into In the driveway, Philly. yes, that would be fine. Going into a parking garage in like Philly or Westchester, you're not getting anywhere with that. I'm not parallel parking that thing. So it was based on the uh, Bel Air, but they wanted more flair to the Bel Air. Mm. So they called it the Impala. Like and so the Impala was born. Mm. Concept conceived in 1957 it they the Z11 Impala was uh c- thought of but in 1961 but not produced until 1963 so there was a bit it of had, a delay yes it had 427 cubic inch big block engine that produced 430 horsepower mm. and be in the 1963 Z11 well, that's a nice this isn't in your store now no, no. The last one rolled off the production line, and it was red. Those are classy tires, man. It did look not look rims. like this one here. You look at those little hubcap covers and the rims and the white walls. It looks nice. It looks classy. You know, that's why they're, they're classic uh, cars. Big wind sh- rear windshield. Big yeah, I had front a friend windshield. who had a Chevy, and it had this curved windshield in the back. Mm. Very expensive to replace. Yeah. I mean, and then you got the red, nice. Uh, but it was a uh, very nice and, car while yeah. it was around. Green, you never see green anymore. No, and we will have a story where we talk about color. Maybe even the color green. Yes. All right. So. And they killed it because sales fell twenty percent in a year. Okay. Not a lot of people buying. So them. let's see what Ford's doing. Ford gets Hennessy. Nice. They're doing a little. A seven hundred uh, Hennessy is doing a seven hundred and fifty, seven hundred and seventy-five horsepower Ford F one fifty, five liter V eight hood scoop would be. How much do you think the hood scoop is for? Or did you see? No, I didn't see. No. How much do you think they charge for the hood scoop? 
Oh, uh, give me two grand. Six grand. Ooh, six grand. So we're not have, talking there's about. There's so many different ways I could use that. So money. we're not talking about the alcoholic Hennessy. No. Okay. No. I just okay. thought that would be clever. Oh. So this is a two Ford point. Hennessey. And they'll have a 2.9 liter supercharger. Okay. Going right. with a supercharger on it. That should be a nice gigantic looking. monster oh, yeah, of a nice, truck. But still, nice looking truck. You know, the F-150 is synonymous with just, just you know, pickup trucks in general. So yeah. Yeah. They yeah, send a, yeah. They send Most a standard. popular pickup truck uh, that I've heard of this minute. Looks, looks like, like a, a pickup that, truck. That picture looks like it's in a country, uh, a, a country music video somewhere. Yeah, yeah, somewhere. Grab him I don't. I'm not too thrilled truck. with the four doors, but it does look like it has almost a full. I size mean, full bed, cabs as so. long as you have a full bed. That's what matters. You got to have the full sized bed. I hate that's where the ridge line up. went wrong when it came out. It was just the. the you got to have a full sized bed. Not not many people are gonna just be happy with a six foot bed. You need to. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, more. yeah. So. All right. Up next, Nelly Belly. Two. It is a Roy Rogers Jeep. The Roy Rogers Jeep Nelly Belly 2 is going for sale on eBay. That's not it. If you go down. Oh, I, I was like, oh, there. okay. I'll there there it is go. there. It no, is no. A, from Roy it's Rogers. Like a Jeep to me. I don't know. It was last sold in 2008 for 38400 mm -hmm. And I thought Ooh. it's a little... A uh, piece of automotive history that we have that's going for sale. I didn't read where it's going for sale, and I don't really care. No, not at all. But it is. But uh, it is. It is neat. Used to have Roy Rogers around here. There used to be one right up. I think it's where the. Um, am I KFC... interrupting your texting? Am I? No, I'm sending it out so people oh. watch the podcast. But um, it's. Uh, it used to be up where the KFC is. Yeah, yeah. I uh, you. I think. Uh, it didn't look like that, though. It, didn't it did look not like look like that. No. That is from the Roy Rogers TV show. So ah. those of you who might be remember that TV show might remember the Jeep. And if you feel nostalgic, it can be yours for around forty grand. So there's there's no hamburgers involved. No, there's uh, no ham. No, no Hennessy. No hamburgers. My God, this is a. Was it Roy Rogers you were almost born at, or was that? Uh, no, that was Hardee's. That, that was Hardee's, Hardee's, right? Yes, he was almost born at a Hardee's. But who can resist, resist their tater tots? Exactly. Who can? The French can. This is a concept car. Mm. The Aero Sport. Okay. Kind of looks like... Would you uh, believe it? It's made by the French. Kind of looks like the... Uh, what was that? The shit? Not the... Yeah, the Magnum. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like they're going for a uh, uh, crossover that, that Hyundai. Look. Yeah. That's... That, that yeah, the is. Hyundai. Going for a very futuristic look. Yeah, that looks don't, very concept car, but don't, still. It, you know why it looks like a concept car? Because it's going to look nothing like that. But this was what they say they could do, but yeah. they're not going to give this to you because you would buy this, and they don't want you to buy this. They don't want to be a successful company. This is going to be the equivalent of a 671 brake horsepower electric car. Okay. So that seemed a might powerful, but without any other uh, information, it could have that, and it could weigh eight tons. They have electric hamsters in the back. Yes. Little Pikachus. The French say this is just a showcase. We're not actually doing this. Yeah, the, the Pikachus escaped Japan, and the French caught them and put them in a car. Okay. I guess that's what they... On little wheels. That, that's how they do it. It's how they can classify it as an electric car. Okay. <laughs> Nobody tell PETA. <laughs> yeah. But that is the Renault concept. It's definitely different, and we can now all forget it. It looks like you can shave with those wheels or at least cut your grass. But if you could get a hold of that concept, every now and then, one or two escape the lab. Get to drive it around the streets? Yes. And no, you wouldn't want to drive that in Pennsylvania. Way too many yeah. potholes. You'd probably have to file an insurance claim or buy it. Probably doesn't even have an engine under there. Yes, it's it's going to have an engine. What type? Probably an electric engine. Well, motor. Okay. In Subaru news. And what do they have going on? They have this little thing going on. 
Eleven hundred. Uh, you can keep it there, I guess. Sure. It will. Uh, I think it should play the video of the eleven hundred horsepower WRX. There we go. That they have is a Oof. drag car. <laughs> You don't normally see them as a drag car. Normally, you see them as a rally car because that's where the uh, Subaru Impreza yeah. gathered its name. A 2.5 liter turbo uh, rally car, uh, eight second, 8.65 second drag time, quarter mile, I assume. Eight second car. That is a powerful car. So I figured it would be nice if you can see this story at Road and Track this week. Nice. And it's nice to see people doing different things with uh, drag cars. And it's got a little parachute. Well, yeah, because you need that. Yes, because Slow you won't down. ever be able to stop an eight-second car like that. If you thought Honda's had bad brakes, just wait till you try that. Um, so yeah, man, it's a, a nice thousand power uh, horse. Uh, there is a nice horsepower. interview that we're not going to listen to of him talking about his car. If you're a car guy, you'll you'll like. But here you see that yeah. massive intake, right? Oh here, yeah, going into the turbos, and it's That's just a masterpiece. And I love beautiful. those headlights too, little teardrop headlights. That is a beefy engine. Man. Very beefy engine. Very impressive. Oh, yeah, for a Subaru. Little Those engine. Man, do they do a lot. Massive turbos. Yeah, and that big... Whew, look at that. That thing is huge. That's exactly how it gets its horsepower right there. That's, that that's beefy, how you get an eight-second yeah. car. A turbo engine, the size of your wheel. Big-ass intakes, sucking up all that air. It's probably It sucks more than your ex. On that note, let's look at Nissan. Sorry, Nissan. <laughs> Sponsorship available. Ah, it's segways. a slow news week. Segways. <laughs> oh, we can go to the uh, other story on backsides. We have a special story on car butts and convertibles. But now we're going to talk about the Nissan Rogue. Rogue. About to say, that's a new one. Rogue cars are suddenly stopping without warning. Uh, okay. I thought this is... Rather humorous, if it wouldn't be humorous if you owned a Rogue. 2017, 2018, it's... Yeah, those electronic yes. braking. Electronic Automatic braking, braking. system is having issues. Randomly engages when there is no reason to. Call your Nissan dealer to today. Here's the thing. A lot of those electronic braking systems use the camera that people are like, I have a camera? Yeah, you have a camera on the other side of a rearview mirror. And that camera, if it's not aimed properly, mm -hmm. it can pick up, like, you know, um, the signs on a highway. It can pick up oh, you know, yeah. different reflective surfaces that are, it's seeing Depending as on where the, the mirror is yeah. aimed. Yeah. So it's all about mm -hmm. calibration. But the calibration process for most of these vehicles that have this system engaged is very delicate. So... If you're having a problem with this, definitely contact your dealer because they may already have a, a solution or a resolve to this, or they may be working on something. Sooner you get it fixed, sooner it's covered but under warranty. This is the big one right here: no injuries, no deaths. That's what we like, especially to see. with automatic. Is something automatically breaking? That is can be a very scary situation that I have heard some people affected by. And, yeah, you know, it's just a calibration issue. It's one little one instead of a zero that could really just affect a lot of different electrical systems. It'll stop up to 45 miles an hour. Wow. <laughs> Impressive, isn't it? All right. Let's go to a little story that we did not just create in the last half hour. There we go. No, the uh, the, the Oh, other, the thing. Yeah, the, the other the, thing the we other were thing working on that was not just. That's a preview for the Triforce podcast for... A very brief... Stop giving away my secrets! Okay. <laughs> um, no. No. You go to the... F no. No. You have to go open the folder. There we go. Start with so, number one. We'll Play start at... beautiful bean footage. Number one. When we were at the auto show, we saw a list of convertibles, and we're going to Ooh. talk about how they look. This is the... Porsche Carrera S. This yes. is the back side. <laughs> nice for a 911, but once again, like I said at the auto show, it looks like a 911. All of them look like the previous models. To retain value in the I previous mean, model. I guess 
What I thought was interesting was the colors. We can look at another side of the car. Mm. Or the I guess the Porsche, is. I mean, yeah. You That's look the at front, that front of it. End. It's a nice, sporty car. Very nice. I'm sure there's very minor, subtle differences, and it, Matt, man. That really, this this piece of the grill was moved 4.5 inches away from the previous model, and it's different now. So now that's a $500 part. I, I'm, I'm with Jezu. Just if you if you got the money, just buy one whenever you got the money because, like, it doesn't matter. It's a Porsche. It doesn't matter. It's still going to be a Porsche. It's going to be a Porsche. It's still going to be a great car. You know what it'll be? It'll yeah. be a, and it's going to try and kill you. That's what they do. They try and kill you. That's why it's red. With or it speed. could try and kill you in a variety of other colors, which I thought was interesting. Yeah. For a uh, car company to offer so many, you have orange Still. in there, Still. you have white, no, no yellow. Green. There is no green, oddly enough. There's a lot a like there was no Mercedes brown. at the auto show. There's, It's not there. It's, they a, it's were something just, that people want that's not there. Is that Rut in the background? No, he's... That, it, that, that looks, looks like Rut that from looks like American. Rutledge Wood from American that looks here. like Rutledge Wood. We found Rutledge Hi, Rut. Wood, who is no right there. Yeah, yeah. That right, that guy right there. That that really looks like Rutledge Wood. It does. It it, it, it looks a little bit like Rut. Okay. Okay. Well, and there are the colors. Obviously, yellow. I didn't and know. Red. We didn't notice that when we prepared this far in advance. Yeah. Yellow and red, obviously bigger colors in there. The blue is always a very popular color for the Porsche. White, and they have two mm, different blues. They have classic. light blue, blue, they got the brown, three different mm-hmm. shades of white. And I just the miss, normal standard I colors. Black, man. Colors. green. Give me a they dark don't, green. There is no green. Light green. They have tan. At, and a lot beige. of these companies are going with like browns and earthy colors. Where's the forest green, motherfucker? Subaru can't be the only one with that color. Yeah, yeah. Well... There are other car companies like this one. Ooh, like Audi? Yeah. This that's Audi a, is a sexy looking little car. That's definitely a convertible. It has, you can get it has a very sleek back end. Like the uh, Porsche has a very rounded rump on the back See, end. I think one. convertibles have really been kind of uh, stereotyped down into two different ones. You have the, the you know, Hollywood teenager who's just cruising in the California sun. And you have the retiree who has just blown all his money on this expensive Audi. Well, you know, as a there needs to be an in broad generalization. Sure. Yes, yes, it is a broad generalization. Let's see what it looks like from an artistic. Are there any celebrities in the background? I don't see any. No, uh, she looks like she's from C-SPAN though. Okay, we didn't. This <laughs> is a car I personally do and love. An affordable. Convertible? It is. It is an affordable convertible. And it's the, the Mazda. Yeah, and Mazda is Miata. very, very synonymous with this type. I it's love two what seater, they did with this sporty car. roadster, everything that you want. It's low center of gravity. It's got enough power to get you around the turns, and the, the convertible top really makes you feel those back over. It is. Roads. It is. It, it. And then when since they redid it, it made me rethink. Totally different about all the other older Mazdas and how they look. Yeah, absolutely. Because it looks way better. And just this, once again, I mocked it before, but the simple, subtle differences, like they take with the hood and the oh and yeah, the front, just a little headlight, bit of angle. You know, the way they just it. change this little quarter portion is mm-hmm. really just speaks to how great it looks. And their colors, once again, no green. That one there could be confused as green. I like their interior they have choices. A lot, they have a green for the interior. Because uh, not a lot of car companies are giving you a, a, a lot of choice in interiors. Mm-hmm. You get black. You get white, uh, red, blue. Gray. It's still on the car spectrum. You know? It's like white, blue, and gray. You may get a red flare if you pay for that extra trim package for four, mm-hmm. for like four or five grand. Yeah, but yeah, that's yeah. you know, it, it's just a lack of color. I see it as a lack of imagination in the automotive industry. But then you can say at the car club, you have the one with the extra trim. That's true. That's true. And this is a look at the back side. Even the back side looks good. Every every car guy alive loves a good back end. Yes. Got to be a fan of the back <coughs> end. And then of course the Jag. Here's the Jag. It looks very much like the, um, a little bit like the Audi, but someone was copying off their paperwork and they weren't yeah. allowed. They're like, no, 
You can't. Yeah, I mean, it's also uh, one thing I would see is like uh, the convertible speed, how fast it goes up. Because once, yeah. at, inevitably, it will always rain. When it rains, it pours. So you want to make sure that that convertible sp- pops that top up quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then a nice side view there. A little kid, he does not, I guarantee you, the person is not actually legally allowed to drive. They can't even, they can't even see over the steering wheel. You'd be no. able to see their head right there. No celebrities. She should not be letting them drive. No celebrities in the background. Okay. Well, there's B.D. Wong. Okay. Uh, I don't know who that is, but sure. You'd know him if you saw him. It's funny yeah. to everybody else. Maybe. I don't know. I'm assuming it's funny. Hey, here's the Hey, here's the back side of the Lexus. I, mean, I like, the, I like the, the very angular you were saying with yeah. the other one. This is a very different type of angular, which you'll probably mm-hmm. see... On all other cars. Kind of looks like it belongs in altered carbon. Like oh, yeah. Kind of futuristic oh, yeah. looking. That looks but good. this was the section of the auto show that a lot of people were expecting to see Mercedes. But they Yeah, didn't. Mercedes didn't. The Volvo, car club of uh, uh, Florida? Yeah, you saw wherever they were it? from. Alpha or whoever was in there. Yeah, Alpha was, was there. there. There was also, they had, uh, Nissan has a convertible, the Z. Yeah. Alpha, I'm sure they have one. And Volvo's always good for a convertible. But, you know, especially when you're looking at convertibles, a Lexus would be a good one because that's Japanese and it's reliable. Yes, and you click on that uh, next, that last. Ah, yes. The better photo. And this is what it looks like from the front. Oh, For some reason, that, that photo didn't go out. We're not reading the story. We're just going to look at the front. But that's the front end and of it. that is the front end of it, which also looks very and that's sharp. that's rather sexy. La- Lexus is that's also... That's a very uh, sharp... Very popular for the hard top convertibles as oh, well. Yeah. So you get the hard top, it's nice blue. That's a very, very <laughs> sexy blue. <laughs> that is. It's a very nice. It looks like you blue. could jump into the side of it. That's how crystal clear the blue is. And I love oh, it. It's nice, fantastic. You get, you but get that nice camera guy together. should not be standing there. Especially. He's God. taking away from the car. He really is. Yeah. Not with that shirt. I mean, that looks like a very impressive camera. I mean, he's got the little. Little light source there. Okay. Yeah. Do you have a list of the safest cars? I mean, there may be a list right here of uh, the safest cars. We have a list of the safest cars. Once I again, a, a list, list of seventy-four thousand of the safest cars you can buy in twenty twenty. My lists are usually infamously long. Mine. Um, um, uh, this one I think is very short. They just tell you how they just test how they, braking. Yeah, the IHS to the, the safety they, standards. And yeah, the how they test it. Is crushed. You can go yeah. watch season one of Top. Oh, there we go. Top safety picks for small, small car. Honda Insight. Okay. Mazda three hatchback and sedan. The, and the Subaru Cross Tech Hybrid. Now Honda Insight, very nice. It Mid-sized. is a very small car, so that's very nice that uh, you know it. Once again, Honda, Mazda, Subaru, all foreign car makers that are in that mm. top three there for small. Mid-sized car, we have the Mazda 6. Nissan Maxima. Subaru Legacy. The Subaru Outback, built after October 19. Not before. You're fucked if you, build it, if you bought it before that. Schmuck. And, uh, oh, oh, yeah, the Toyota Camry. You told me some interesting news about the Nissan Maxima. There was a time when now all Nissans, I yeah. suppose, are so, are sold with automatic transmission. Yeah, the um, but in the nineties and the two thousands, I think it was the two thousands ish. It was the two thousands. They stopped making manual cars, and those cars in the Nissan Maxima, in particular, would be more valuable than the regular. Well, car, most cars, depending on. Mileage and it's the early 2000 to like 2005 range Maximas that you're going to look that they were available with a five speed transmission uh, uh, those, manual transmission. And I remember those, those years, those were really ones. good cars, yeah. And after that, they did steer away from the manual transmissions. Nissan started making like bringing it only to the Sentra mm-hmm. and then event, ultimately eliminating it, besides maybe the 370Z, which has the rev matching. Um, but manual transmission cars have, are unfortunately going away. And uh, yes. the Maximas, if you do see that range around like the two, early 2000s, and it has a five-speed manual transmission, scoop that shit up. 
Four mid-sized luxury cars. We have the Lexus ES. Yeah, Mercedes-Benz C-Class sedan with optional front crash protection. So I guess they don't care about protecting no. them. And the Tesla Model 3. Yes. Is very popular. Even Large luxury ball. cars. <clears throat> the Audi A6. The Genesis. Oh, wow, look at that. G70 and G80. Built after... December 19th. If it was built before, you're fucked. Maybe. I don't know. I just made that up. Small SUVs. We have Mazda 3, Mazda 5, with optional crash protection. And a Subaru Forester for the soccer moms. Very predictable. Mid-size luxury SUV. And Acura, Acura RDX. RDX. Really great. Nice car. Nice looking car. You got the nice big screen in there. And they actually have a touchpad. Which is right in center, and that's how you control the infotainment. Um, so, really happy about that. The one. Cadillac XT6. Built after October 19th. If it was built before, you're fucked, I think. Maybe not. <laughs> Hyundai. Nexo. Nexo. And Nexo is the Nexus, or Lexus. Lexus. NX. And Nexus. Uh, the Mercedes Benz GLE class built after <laughs> seven July nineteen with optional with front, optional crash, front protection. crash protection. If not, you're fucked. Okay, uh, you know there will become a time when they're gonna go through every letter combination yeah. Yeah, that will. there is. I'm sorry, they're all taken up. What are we gonna call it? We, we just call them cars now, and we. We, we it's transport. I don't care. We'll call it transport one. We'll start top from safety whatever. pick for small cars: Honda yeah. Civic, Coop, sedan, sedan hatchback, hatchback, including the Type R, which is good. The Elantra, the Elantra yeah. GT, Veloster, Kia Forte, Kia Soul, and the Subaru, Subaru Crosstech. Crosstech, Subaru Impreza, sedan and wagon, Subaru WRX, Toyota Corolla. Hatchback and, and sedan. And Turbo Troy will tell you firsthand experience how safe the Subaru WRX and the WRX STI are. Because he can still walk. Right? Yeah. Yeah, he can still walk. Last I checked. Midsize sedan. Uh, mid-size BMW cars. 3 Series. No, midsize cars. Oh, uh, Honda Accord, some. Honda Sonata, and the Nissan Altima with optional crash protection from the front. If not, you're fucked. I wonder how much that costs. Uh, midsize was, yes, the BMW 3 Series and the Volvo S60. Large cars. There's what yet but one contender. Stinger. That's the their... Kia uh, with optional crash protection. Yeah, that, that well, that's that's because that's their little fast car. Cool. And, uh, yeah, you need front Large crash protection cars. for those okay. teenagers who can afford that $15,000 little... Large luxury cars or the A7. Okay. Audi, obviously, really great and synonymous with quality, so you can't argue with Audi, man. And there's small SUV, Chevy, Equinox, mm-hmm. Ford Escape, Honda CRV, the some Hyundai thing. Hyundai Kona uh, with optional front crash protection, the Hyundai Tucson, Kia Sportage, which I have owned one, Lexus UX, and the Lincoln Corsair, not the Time Lord. Toyota RAV4 and the Volvo XC40. Midsize SUVs is yeah. Ford Edge, Hyundai, oof. the Hyundai Palisade. Palisade. That's the uh, SUV. And uh, oh yeah, I've seen them. The Hyundai. It Santa looks Fe. exactly just like the Santa Fe. Yeah. And the Sorento with frontal crash protection. If not, you're fucked. And the Telluride Kia yeah. Bracken. Up Telluride was the one that Turbo Troy showed me that was actually like surprisingly big on the interior. Mm. And it's Kia, so it's surprisingly luxurious looking. Yeah. Uh, Mazda X, uh, CX-9 and uh, Subaru Ascent, Volkswagen Tiguan. Wow. I think they're ending that. Yeah, one. mid-sized Lexus luxury SUV. Lexus RX. And the last but not least, the large SUV that is the safest is... The Audi Q8. That is it. And that's what we have for a list there for you. Yes. Now we have Alpha News. Oh, boy. So get right A new there. alpha for the hardcore, the hardcore alpha, alpha fan. Gilead GTA. Yes. Well, that's not bad looking. Yeah. They had one at the Costco the other day. It you is can lease a really... one for $3.39 a month for 34, 39 lifetimes. 
Does it have roadside assistance? Probably. I just hope so, because not that You only got to drop uh, under five grand at least signing with no security deposits required. Tax It'll start in the 60s. 2.9 liter V6. They mm-hmm. think they're going to shoot for about 505 horsepower. Okay. I mean, you can shoot for car. what you want, um, but uh, that is a very nice looking car. They do know how to design a car. Especially with the nice, uh, the nice little side oh, indents yeah. there with the body, Ag- the little accents for mm-hmm. uh, air, and that's Close. a nice back end right there. Nice Beautiful. looking back end, not too overly done. Simplistic, gives you what you need. Not like a Honda. Yeah, really like that. I, I, you know, I mean that for an Alpha, that's not bad. All right, still Thank looks like you. it's staring at you. Yes, it is looking at you, dude. So we want to thank Megan Kinney for liking the last podcast, as well as who liked this Kevin. podcast. We obviously we always thank Wall Janger Kevin. It is so goddamn hard to find your mouse on a multi-screen. We want to thank Uvi Valia. Yeah, we'll go with that. Uvi Valia, thank you very much for liking this podcast, which is yet to be titled, but you can always find it here. Once I find my mouse here at pjnwh.com, you'll find this podcast as well as Triforce, as well as our super special 100th podcast coming from the Game and DVD Exchange live March 4th, uh, this Wednesday. And it's going to be our live 100th episode. It's going to be really special. Mark from the Game and DVD Exchange is going to be there. I'm sure he's going to surprise us again. We're just going to sit there and have a great time. So we want you to come on out and uh, have fun there as well. Oh, right. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, this is the end of the podcast. We want to thank you for watching and listening on all formats as well. You can check us out on SoundCloud and all the other podcast formats, literally everywhere. And you can find us for the Triforce podcast n- tomorrow at 7 p.m. ish uh, Eastern Standard Time. Thank you very much for watching, Wall Jangers. I am Matthew Bukerell, the Mad Man, and this is Stephen Bukerell, Big Brother for Lug Nuts. Drive on, lug nuts. We'll see you next week. Bye bye. Lug nuts. That so might... we're not talking about the alcoholic Hennessy. No. Okay. No. Maybe even the color green. If you thought Honda's had bad breaks, just wait till you try that. Stop giving away my secrets. That looks Here. like Rutledge Wood. We found Rutledge Hi, Wood. It sucks more than your ex. Built after October 19th. It was built before you're fucked, I think. The Lincoln Corsair. Not the Time Lord. Pizza. Oh, hi. Pizza. Cookie. Your Majesty. Let me send them two cars at a time. This is the silent sounds of counting numbers. Ah, oh, podcast pro. We'll go live without a title while I'm in the back in the back end. Giggity. So we okay. are. We're now live. Hi. Oh, I didn't. Hold on, right. we're not live yet. I didn't hear the right thing. All right, now. I. No. And video go to OBS. Stop streaming, stop recording in the name of Linky. Hey, <laughs>